What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be talking all about footstep audio, the ninja perk, dead silence, how they all interact with each other in Call of Duty Vanguard, to see just how loud footsteps are, and how necessary ninja and or dead silence is going to be in your gameplay. And without further ado, let's just hop right into the breakdown here. The first thing we're going to do is just get a baseline of the default footstep audio with no perks or anything involved in the equation here. I highly recommend using some headphones if you have the opportunity or some earbuds even for this video because you are going to have to listen very carefully. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is just how loud the footsteps are when an enemy is right next to you depending on their stance. This first test was done on Dome specifically because there is a good amount of background noise which you're going to be experiencing in a match and also I wanted to test footstep audio to begin with on concrete to see how that sounds. Have a listen. So as you probably noticed with the first couple of tests, with crouch walking as well as aim down sight walking, you are dead silent. You won't be making any footstep noise whatsoever. Then with regular walking as well as sprinting, they actually seem to be roughly the same audio, which I found to be quite interesting. I thought sprinting would be a bit louder. But with those, you can hear a footstep sound, but it's very faint. And in a super hectic environment, you're not likely to hear that at all. But if you happen to be in a quiet situation, or you're playing like Search and Destroy or something, then there's a decent chance you'll hear that person approach, as they get close to you at least. Let's just have a quick listen to those two once again. Now finally, when the enemy is using the tactical sprint, this is when you can definitely hear the footsteps. This is where it's going to be tough for an enemy to tack sprint up to you without hearing them. You will likely hear them approaching if they're doing that. However, it's still not as loud as the footstep audio was in Modern Warfare 2019. Let's have a listen to that one more time. So those are the different stances that we got out of the way. Next up, let's have a look at the range at which you're able to hear these footsteps. And we'll start it off with standard sprinting. So just like the first test, it's very faint. You have to be paying super close attention to even hear this in the first place. But if you are really paying attention, I was able to hear a very, very faint footstep at about this range right here. And that's actually a pretty decent range of hearing footsteps, but like I said, it's unlikely you hear this just due to the volume of those footsteps. Now let's have a look, or I guess listen, to tack sprinting and its range. Now the range on this one is significantly longer than regular sprint. As you can see here, this is where I could hear a footstep. And even at this range, I could hear this footstep much more clearly than I could hear any of the footsteps when the enemy was just using regular sprint. So at least when it comes to tack sprint, if you have a good headset and you're really paying attention, it's unlikely somebody's going to be able to tack sprint up to you without you hearing them, even if there is a little bit of gunfire going off in the background. Next up, I just wanted to test a few movement mechanics and how they interact with footstep audio and other audio cues you may pick up from enemy players. The first thing I wanted to point out in this section is sliding is almost dead silent. Let's have a listen. So as you can tell, it looks like it's actually kind of in your best interest to be sliding around the map as much as possible in the game's current state, because unlike previous Call of Duty games where you'd make more noise for sliding, you're making less noise while sliding in Vanguard. Next up, let's see what happens when you jump just on flat ground. This definitely makes some noticeable footstep audio, so that's something to be aware of. Jumping may reveal your position to enemy players. Next, I also wanted to have a quick look at verbal cues that you get from enemy players, specifically when they mantle on an object or drop from a height higher than just a regular jump. So as you can tell, when this player mantles or drops from a higher height, they will make a sort of grunting sound, and this is audible to enemies. 
So there we have it. There's my base footstep testing on concrete. I will be looking at other surfaces later in the video, but now let's hop into the ninja perk. And this is really straightforward. It turns out with the ninja perk, you're just straight up dead silent. I can't get the character to make any footstep audio whatsoever, but let's just have a listen for yourself. That enemy player was literally inaudible. There wasn't a single noise made by him. However, I did also want to test to see if Ninja would mute those grunts when you're mantling on something. Let's have a listen. Now, it obviously doesn't completely mute these grunts, but as far as I can tell at least, comparing this side by side when the enemy doesn't have Ninja, it does seem to be at least a little bit quieter when you're using Ninja. Then the next thing I wanted to test is the Dead Silence field upgrade. I'm gonna start this clip off when Dead Silence isn't activated so you can hear the default footstep audio and then you'll notice the point where I activate Dead Silence. Let's have a listen. So as you can probably tell, this also completely silences your footstep audio, even while tack sprinting. So either way you go, either ninja or dead silence, as long as it's active at that moment, you're going to be completely silent when it comes to footstep audio. Now additionally, with the dead silence field upgrade, a big question I had, as well as many other people, is does it boost your movement speed like it did in Modern Warfare? And I put this to the test, it turns out it has no impact on your movement speed whatsoever, whether that be through sprinting or just walking normally, you have exactly the same movement speed. Also, it doesn't change your FOV at all like it did in Modern Warfare. It looks like it's just giving you that dead silent effect for your footsteps, and then it also gives you permanent ghost while the dead silence is running. And I want to mention this ghost effect doesn't fade away if you stop moving while dead silence is active, which does work different than the perk where you do have to be on the move in order for ghosts to be working. So there we have it. That pretty much wraps it up for the initial testing I did. However, like I said, I did want to share a few clips of footstep audio on different surfaces. Let's start off with a regular sprint in water on Oasis. As you can tell, that footstep audio is much more pronounced in the water, so you will be making louder footsteps there, and that may be something to consider with your gameplay, especially in Search and Destroy. You may want to avoid walking in water because you'll make louder noise. Now let's see what it sounds like when you're walking in the dirt or sand that surrounds the water here, and how it sounds when you transition back and forth. So with this, again, the water is definitely louder than the dirt, and I also wanted to point out the dirt here is louder than the concrete on dome. I was quite surprised to see that. Technically speaking, running on concrete should be louder than running on sand, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Finally, let's see what footsteps will sound like on snow on the map Red Star. Once again, this is a little bit louder than running on concrete, but those footstep sounds are still relatively muted. They're not super loud by any means. You've just got a better chance of hearing someone if they're running on snow compared to concrete. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for all of my footstep testing that I've done so far with Vanguard. Now to wrap it up, I am going to share my opinion on this. On one hand, I do like the fact that footsteps are quiet enough to the point where I don't feel like I need to run the ninja perk. It's not a crutch perk by any means, especially in respawn game modes. It's not going to be a crutch perk. But at the same time, I do understand a lot of the complaints right now about the footsteps being too quiet. And if we're talking about what I consider to be the perfect balance of footstep audio, this is a little on the quiet side. Now, I've said this in the beta, and I will say it again, I would much prefer they lean in the direction of footsteps being too quiet rather than too loud, because too loud can really destroy the pacing of the game, like in Modern Warfare 2019. But I've got to say, if they were really aiming for perfect footstep balance, I wouldn't be opposed to the footsteps being just slightly louder than they currently are, or maybe just an adjustment on certain materials, like concrete for instance. I do think it should be maybe slightly louder on concrete, but it's fine in the water as well as on snow. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it right now. I'm personally quite happy with the current footstep audio, but if they were to make a few adjustments to make them a little bit louder, I'm just saying I wouldn't be opposed to those changes, as long as, of course, they don't take it too far in the other direction, because that could be horrible. Now, of course, these are just my opinions on the footstep audio and the current balance of Ninja and Dead Silence with the base footsteps. 
I'd like to hear in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the current state of footstep audio in Vanguard? Do you think it's great how it is, too quiet, or maybe even too loud? Just let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.